we've turned the lights down. It's a little bit dark in here, but you can see the glow uh, of your beautiful silver jewellery taking shape here. Uh, and it's the amazing PMC Studio bringing you silver clay to fire and make and shape your own silver jewellery in the comfort of your own home. No need for a kiln, no need for loads of different materials, no need for masses of investment, but you can get going, give or take for under £100, you can get started making your own silver jewellery by watching today's show and by ordering on today's show. What you're doing is you're molding your clay, you're shaping your clay, and we're firing it now as we speak on a heat resistant brick. You can get your firing block, you can get your butane gas torch for 1749. So that gives you an idea of the sort of accessibility of making your own silver jewelry at home. For 1749, you've got your firing brick and your torch, as well as all the other items uh, to order today. And Helen joins us as our guest. Um, Helen, yeah. always a pleasure to see you. Yeah. Um, and you know, the fans of, of making with silver jewellery can tune in every few weeks or so to see what's new. Yeah. Um, but it's never too late to get started, is it? No, no, no. I always take you right back to basics mm. and just give you those basic tips. And don't forget, all the shows always go on to Rewind and they also go onto the Hochanda YouTube yeah. uh, channel. So I always say to people, go go back to the Hochanda YouTube yeah. and then you can just put it all together. So I thought, well, I've been doing this for a couple of years now. You know, yeah. we started out in the last studio and before you know, time yeah. just flies yeah so we thought okay we don't want to keep repeating the same thing yeah. so and um, today we're going to take it a bit further and we're going to have a go at rings oh it's good so, so it's always rings, exciting it? so it's yeah. exciting yeah um, making rings so we'll be doing that we've got the brand new ring kit on the show as well with the ring mandrill yeah uh, and uh, your lovely kits that, that we're going to be zipping through what did we just watch you doing though? So we just watched the firing. Mm. So basically, um, like that, that's why we can just about get away with rings on this show. Um, anything the size and thickness of a 50 pence piece can be fired with a torch safely. Okay. Because the whole point is you, you want to be able to heat the whole piece at the same time. It's called the sintering process. And because the precious metal clay, it's made out of the fine silver particles, the non-toxic organic binder and water. And what what you're doing is you're letting the clay dry so the water evaporates and then you're just burning off that uh, organic binder with yes. a torch so, so the fumes are not toxic although yes. you know don't don't inhale them too yeah, much obviously, yeah, open, window, <laughs> open a window you, want, you know yeah. be sensible yeah. um but yes so you can torch so, fire something and also pmc you can fire it as many times as you want so if you're not sure fire it again interestingly though as well because you say we've got the silver particles you've got the clay and you've got the water uh sorry you've got the binder which is the clay and the water you're evaporating the water off the binder is burning away as well so yeah. you must be left with silver then. yeah it's yeah. almost pure silver there's always mm. just a smidge left of that uh, binder so mm. that's why it's 999 so Seven. it's hallmarkable is yeah. fine silver uh, certainly the PMC yeah. flex that we're going to be working and, with today and the 999 meaning 99.9% .9 yep. yep. so when you say a little bit of binder you mean a minuscule amount oh, this it's, is pure it's silver a tiny bit about it. and and also yeah. it means that if you are allergic to something like sterling silver so you're allergic to the copper or the alloys in it um, yeah. then you're fine with the PMC no one's ever been known to be allergic to PMC. OK, so I've got a piece of silver here, yep. but what you've got there doesn't look like silver. That's my last no, first question. No, no, so that's where we have to do the magic bit. Yeah. Um, so this is where we... So basically silver, it, once you fire it, always goes back to its natural state, okay. which is white. Uh, so and, that's what and you want it basically, to look like. yeah. yeah. And then basically because... Let me just uh, obviously quench you. So that's the good thing about torch firing it. So it's on the block. The block stays cool, but I'm not going to risk burning my fingers. So I'll just put it into a, a water and you can just hear a slight yes, sizzle. Yeah. Not not much because it is porous. And then you can feel that it is... Oh, sorry, I just put the, the bowl away. Um, so there it is. And then let me just dry it off. And then we can dry it off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use a little brush. And what we're doing is we're smoothing that surface. So the rubber block okay, makes it a little bit black. You can buy all so, these tools on the show, don't worry. We're yeah. not using anything with Helen that you can't get hold of to get no, that professional It's just finish. simple things that you can get started and then you can always add to it. So that Look gives you a, a matte finish, as you can see, by just brushing it. I'm, yeah. I'm not very good you at holding these things no, around the camera. No, you're, you're better you at that bit. No, you're brilliant, you're brilliant, <laughs> Helen. Yeah, there you go. So there you go, there you go. That's a, 
the, the right camera going. Yeah, you can see the polish on that. And, and then, then on the back as well, without any detail, yep. you can see a little bit left over where it's not been polished yet. But look at that. You can see the difference. in nice. So you can see that it's still a little bit scratchy. Yeah. And then the next step is really to use the, the agate burnisher. So the agate is harder than the metal, but it, it's a really nice piece. And then you can really get that high shine finish. So, and you can also get rid of some of the imperfections. The thing about it is the higher the shine, it's basically all down to the finish. So making sure that you, you sand things before you fire them, make them look as pristine as possible, mm. will give you a better piece at the end. So as you can see, um, you can see that as well. You can get a, a better shine on so it. So have you ever wanted to, uh, I suppose, just encapsulate something very, very special at home, you know, um, use something very special to you, you, you know, perm make permanent something very special, imprint something, maybe initials, a fingerprint, children, grandchildren, and yeah, everything. There's all that potential. We've done that before, haven't yes, we? Yes, we've got the engraving mm. set. Uh, mm. So we're still, still on the website. Yeah. Um, so the engraving the set, which is basically using the, the fine tipped tools so you can carve and engrave straight into the clay with yeah. those um, we've also done the stamping sets in the past but the yeah. engraving tools gives you that freedom so you can just take a piece of pmc roll it out you can write something on it let it dry and the pencil if you write with pencil that will all burn off yeah. so you can actually you know, write a name on it um, and it all starts with the clay of course uh, and i've got the 15 gram uh, silver weight uh, clay uh, just here yeah. Uh, and then the other size is 16.7 yeah. because that's the the that's um, the maximum yeah, the gross weight the, so the, yeah the pre-firing weight isn't yeah. it yeah, yeah. so 16.7 grams of, of clay gives you 15 grams of fired silver so it just shows how little binder and water is actually in the clay yeah. Yes, yeah, 16.7, so 1.7 grams worth, literally, yes, of binder uh, yeah. and water, and the rest you're left with 15 grams worth of yeah. clay. Um, you also need your firing kit today, so it all starts with the clay, you get your firing kit as well, um, and that's the butane gas torch and the firing block. All you'll need to buy there is a uh, tin of butane gas uh, yourself, just down at the pound shop or something. 15.74 it is, including delivery as a Freedom member, 137 two zero eight so you will need to fill your butane gas torch yourself we're not about to put butane gas through the post <laughs> uh so then you've got your um little polishing kit as well this was the agate burnisher the the um rubber block the brass brush uh, and also your mini silver polishing cloth uh, all included in the bundle A13073 that's your basic tools to get started and make lovely silver jewellery yourself at home pure silver jewellery pretty much um, and this is one of our new kits, of course, that you mentioned already, Helen, the ring making kit. Yeah. It is, it is. There are lots and lots of, you know, little different ring kits. And when you see a ring kit for it, you know it's going to be not so good. So basically what's great about this ring kit, and you'll see when I work with it, it's got that metal stand on it. And you can take it off the metal stand. And once you're building the ring, you build the ring on the, st on the stand, yeah. on the mandrel, but then you also leave it to dry on there. And it just, it just makes life so much easier easier having a really good quality ring mandrel with a strand you know you're just buying a, a stick doesn't do it because how do you dry the thing yeah. when you're working on it it just doesn't work the same just buy it once buy yeah. the right thing and you've got your ring sizer as well to measure your size or the person that you're making the ring for size yeah, they'll demonstrate how yeah. to size the rings as well so that you always get the right size ring it's nice yeah. it fits <laughs> so it comes with these sort of instructions on the envelope but then that's your ring size are there they yeah. are um we've, we've got a couple of these at home and you know they work really well they you work just really it, well it and we're going to be working it. in american sizes because that works really well with the shrinkage of the pmc okay, okay so yeah um and then of course you've got the mandrel which comes with it and that's sized beautifully like you say it's not just a stick or a uh, a leg off a chair that you've <laughs> you, yes, you've stolen yeah. off so you somebody. can make any size it's ring properly with it yeah. tapered yeah for all yeah sizes yeah. of the ring yeah and it comes with the ring strips as well that we're oh, going to yes. put on the ring i know they're hard to tell on the gray yeah, 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 background there they are. Uh, so we've got those as well so that means that once you that's what you're going to build your ring on and then you can also take it off at the final drying stage which i yeah. will demonstrate 
so you'll be able to wrap those around yeah, yeah. we'll see you doing that though so you get yeah. your wing strips the ring sizer and the mandrel uh, and the little envelope that you get your instructions on um, and then some of the examples you've got here Helena absolutely lovely have you made all of them I've made all of them and you know oh, what they're all my so size talented. too Are they all, oh, what a coincidence, oh, what a coincidence. Now, just hold, hold your hand there so we can see please Helen if that's yeah. I know it feels grossly uncomfortable doesn't it like to have your hand in mid-air <laughs> so I was guessing which um, camera it is yeah. for the telly we'll just get a nice close-up of that isn't that beautiful how have you done that have you layered yeah layered that leaves? up now yeah, on the, the petals, web website um, we've got some of the uh, the blossom cutters as well and here I've just layered them mm. on top of each other and what I've done is I've dried it in a uh, plastic measuring spoon to oh. hold the shape so again once you've got the badger balm which is in your kit you, you just oh, rub yeah. a little bit in the um, a, a plastic measuring spoon make sure it's plastic and not a metal one yeah. and just let the clay dry in that isn't that lovely to be able to make it's that cute. from scratch imagine um, and how many grams would you say that is but I mean that's one of the biggest ones that you've is got. quite the biggest one actually you'd be surprised I think that one is only about 10 grams really 10, 7, 10 grams. Oh yeah, my goodness not... that's huge yeah but it's not, um, yeah, so a small band ring, you can just, depending on the size of the ring, of course, but an average size ring, you should be able to make that out of the, the 5.6 grams. Yeah, 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 easy, easy. Um, and then some of the other designs here too, look at these. It, they're just all different shapes and sizes. And it just so like, for instance, one of these, uh, what's the one, uh, this one, for instance, at the top, mm. you know, is a very rustic, roughly put together ring. Mm. It probably took me less Let's than 10 minutes to make, but yeah. actually it's one of my, my favourite rings. Um, so it doesn't, you know, it just shows you can create your own style and your own finish on these things. It's nice to think that you can put crystals and real gems in them yes, as well, yeah, essentially. Yeah, this yeah. Little, uh, so that's a gem that set one. Um, yeah. Any of the gemstones that we've got on the website, you can actually push those into the clay as well. Yeah. Um, and fire them with the torch as many times as you want so if you fired it and you need to fire it again don't worry the the, the gemstones won't lose their color okay i um, mean they're all so different as well so whatever your style is whatever you're making for somebody mm. uh you know you'll be able to make a bespoke piece of jewelry that, yeah that they're exactly all what? different yeah yeah it's lovely. 10% um, gone already on the ring making kit. So it's another really, really busy one with Helen here. Um, lovely PMC studio uh, where we work with the silver clay. Um, it's always busy because we don't see Helen enough. It's only you know once every month or two or so that we see you, uh, Helen. Mm. And there's always something brand new like this. Yeah. Uh, and the fans, the people that tune in every month or so uh, are here picking this up today. Uh, so get in their early doors. 19.99 plus delivery gets you uh, the mandrel, the ring strips and also the uh, sizer. Um, uh, and the stand, of course, that it's on. 347698 to order now. We love the fairy mould, and so do you. <laughs> Half the stock already oh, no, gone. No, I haven't demoed it yet. Oh, <laughs> Helen, you, you always bring us different moulds, and we never seem to see the same one come back either. No, they won't come back again. I try and, you know, make it different each show, otherwise mm. it gets a little bit boring. And last time we were talking Stuffy. earlier, we did the little bonnets, and they just looked so cute yeah, on the show. So setting up, I said, have you got the finished sample? And I said, no, I'll make it during the show, because then you'll see the detail okay. in these little moulds. And, and don't forget the PMC shrinks. <laughs> 10% um, right. so you're going to be able to just about torch fire this and it will just make a really nice it's size little pendant a lovely mold yep. that isn't it amazing for your silver clay what could you use it with other items in your craft you room as well do. Yeah, yes you can do. you can use it with polymer clay you yeah. can use it with um, you know sugar paste okay. uh, you know all these other different things. and it's a super flexible mold which is just yeah. really nice I hate rigid molds where you're trying to get yeah. the bit especially with the PMC you can't have any bits fall off you yeah, know, it's yeah. got to come out and one definitely go. and if you are using it with sugar paste or anything edible then make sure you've got one for the kitchen and one for the craft room as well yeah so, well PMC is yeah, totally non-toxic yeah. so oh, PMC probably, is, yeah, don't yeah, you yeah, with yeah. PMC you'll be all right yeah. Yeah, your silver clay's all right yeah um, so it's lovely so grab hold of your fairy mold before it goes 11.99 plus delivery to get it 618094 um, to order now and then the vegetable mold it's like, very what cute what do we have in the vegetable mold because looking at it you don't like to see is it a little, is it it little like a yeah little fruit and vegetables yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they're very cute and again you know, great detail and it's just something a bit different to a heart all the other things that we do so I thought oh that's just a bit of fun today and again yeah. it's a lovely it's about a 10 piece do, size, can I see like it? bananas in there as well because yeah, I, I lettuce see, there yeah. I think yeah, lettuce, the, 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 yeah, little, yeah. yeah the little peas and yeah little um 
Oh, they're so they're, cute. They're very, very cute. Yeah, love yeah. those. Love those. So different. Vegetable. Um, eleven ninety nine plus TV to get it. Seven zero five two eight one. Um, to order it. Um, and then when you see a piece in a mould, have you got a couple of um examples here that show um with sort of the three D ness of it as well? Three uh, so, D. Gosh. I'm sure, we've got one. We're, we've got the whole show, Helen. Something will yes, pop up. I'm sure yeah, we'll, we'll find be all right. it. Yes. Yeah. Um, we've got the shaping tools. We've got the uh, texture mats as well. In fact, have a look at the website. It's so much easier. <laughs> there um hochanda.com um on there there you go the clay shapers you can see the texture mat mats as well uh they come in a trio uh and that's 14.99 for the three they're basically very good quality rubber uh, rubber stamps or texture mats um and then oh yeah you've got your um 999 silver hallmarking punch too uh, that's been really popular previously yeah. uh because you can uh, hallmark your own sterling um, sorry, i nearly said sterling silver by default your own pure silver pretty much uh pieces yourself um sterling silver of course is 92 and a half percent pure silver uh but you're getting 999 silver at the end of your make uh today oh there's also the two uh, packs of clay uh, where you get two packs of five grams of clay uh, for 24 uh, 22.49 uh, also um, Helen we saw that wonderful piece at the beginning of you doing the firing and a bit of polishing mm -hmm. uh, but where did you want to rewind back to we're going to work with rings weren't we yes so we're going to start with the ring probably because okay. I just wanted to do a, a couple of demonstrations yeah. um, rings are probably not the easiest thing so so take your time and with the flex you don't really have the problems of of things drying out so I'll just as long as you stick to the base Six, I say to people make a couple of rings you know make them small keep them simple and then once you've made a couple you're, you're well away you yeah. know they're not difficult once you know how yeah. so the first thing to do is to to get the right size ring always very handy um, and we're using these American ring sizes now it's really simple so all you do is you just put them two together you say American because in the UK we use letters and in yes America the letters numbers, don't, don't translate as easily yeah. as the numbers and yeah. of course with the once you've got the strip you can make any size ring and when you're torch firing you're going to make it um, I think we've got about three sizes um, three sizes bigger right. so mine is going to be so if I just go and you want it to go over your knuckle quite easily yeah. so if I'm making a seven ring that's going to be my finished size what I need to do is add three sizes on and get it to the ten so that's the size shrink. of the ring that I'm going to make to be allowed so, so if you keep it in the American size it's really really simple yeah. so three sizes it's going to shrink a little bit more because you're torch firing and um, if I'm going to be putting glass into the ring which I'm going to kiln fire yeah. then I'm going to fire lower and then it will just be two sizes okay. so it's between two and three but you're working with clay so there's always a little little bit of variance and of course it depends whether you you're wearing a ring on a hot summer's day when your fingers might be a bit swollen or mm. in the middle of winter but the good thing is if you make it too big you can always just put a little bit of clay back into the inside of the ring and fire it again oh yeah so just to thicken the inside yeah, yeah so yeah. that's very easily done so you're going to make a finished size 10 and it's really handy so for instance if you want to measure it then i know exactly that's the length of the pattern that oh, i that's need brilliant. You've got your mat, so yeah. it's just under seven centimeters so you're going to take that size 10 plus an extra two millimeters for that join that you're going to do so the next thing to do is to have a look at the textures now we've got various textures on the websites there are brass plates but I wouldn't really recommend them that's really great for the back of a, a pendant that you're making or even if you're pushing something into a mold but it's not going to give you enough texture to to make it look interesting this one is a very deep one I just brought it as an example what will happen is that you might have to make a really chunky ring uh, and use up lots of clay, which is maybe yeah, not what you one. want to do. Uh, and then you've got these two. So you've got sometimes a pattern and what you're going to use is use your guide to see which bit you want to use of the pattern. So if I wanted to use this, it wouldn't be long enough. So again, use this as a guide, but again, don't be put off by a pattern. You can run it across a pattern yeah, that whole and, thing, yeah, and yeah. you'll never recognize the patterns anyway so don't worry too much about the pattern as yeah. long as it is this is the texture and depth you won't and you've say got oh, a those are leaves it'll literally just no. be like a like it look like a carving or yeah something it, on does, your, it does it does i made ring. a men's yeah. ring with that one uh, and it doesn't look like a leaf at no. all so right you're just adding interest you're yeah. just adding something something to it yeah yes you can make it smooth but what if you're going to do it smooth you're going to be have to sand quite a bit mm. uh, which is a shame so right always 
so we've got the uh, the lovely badger balm always badger balm the mat and your fingers yeah, you do get you can get your badger balm can't you if you're starting out new yep, it's in it's one of in the, the bundles kit. Isn't it? yes yes we've got yeah. it all here yeah so these are really some lovely patterns here just yeah watching. we might so as well seeing as we talked about the texture mats already this you've got is, one yeah, option all of them you? are this really good that one is a really nice one yeah yeah um, let me see which ones you've popular. got first of all here helen you've taken uh the foliage, foliage. i think foliage is really um, cool victorian yeah. lace and then the five, is that five? Uh, swell. Oh, is swell, that yeah. Swell. Uh, that set is limited stock already. Oh my yeah. goodness! Uh, so fourteen ninety nine plus delivery. That's your swell, uh, the lace and the foliage uh, version. And then there's limited stock already, so you've got to order that early. No wonder, no wonder we needed to show these sooner rather than later. Um, the next one is dots. Yeah, that's a really cute one as well. This is good, isn't it? Vibes just behind it. Well, this one is good because you've got this repetitive pattern. So no matter what size and piece splat. you're making, yes, that splat's really good for enamelling as well. Mm. It, is that you don't worry. About about that too much yeah I like that because you can hold them up and you can go yeah there's the dots and the vibe oh and also in this bundle splat yeah uh, <laughs> yeah so you do you get all three of them uh, but, but yeah do get those quickly won't you 14.99 for your texture mats I'm glad I showed you those because that first set we looked at the limited stock already right so the next thing to do is we're going to prepare the mandrel so so you've got the mandrel here we know that I have to make a finished size 10 so I'll just take it up to the 10. So that's the size of the ring that I'm going to make, which is approximately here. And then we've got our lovely ring strips. So we're going to prepare them. So always open the clay last. So don't open the packet first and then decide to make a cup of coffee or prepare your mandrel. So get ready first. So I'm just checking to see roughly where I'm going to make it. And if you use the center, you can mark it up with a Sharpie or something, but you know, if you put it uh, where in the middle of where you're going to build your ring, you know you're going to be right. So it's going to be roughly here. Okay, so this is about where I need to buy my build my ring in the middle of this. And then what I'm going to do is get a little bit of sticky tape. And the good thing about using a bit of sticky tape is that, of course, you're making a nice smooth inside of your ring so so that way I can build my ring and I can take it off as well which I'll show <laughs> later so there we go so that's where I'm that's going where to build my ring middle of there, okay. in my ring yeah yeah so I'm going to do textured ring so here's a little bit of clay I had hidden in here earlier <laughs> so I'm just going to take a little bit of clay back and take my trusty snake roller just while you're rolling it on the yep, 90 degrees uh, clockwise you can never have enough space isn't it when you're yeah. making something it's okay <laughs> it's all right if you're on your own but when you've got a few people watching on the tv right so i see that i've got too much clay here so i'm just going to put it in there and it's a little bit sticky so i've put some water on Important that clay that. we're keeping it nice and moist in there. oh it's so handy so I put a little bit too much water in it this morning. So what you're doing, if you're working with it, I keep the clay in there and you can just put a little bit of water into the back of the lid and it means it saves you going in and out the a nice packet. damp atmosphere yep. in there for it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Creating a microclimate for your clay. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. very... Yeah. <laughs> it's just good. <laughs> So it's not a challenge where I had to get the word microclimate into one of my presentations <laughs> today. It's not. We wouldn't do that, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> right, so again, I can't remember which bit I badger bomb, so even doubt badger bomb again. So there we go. So you can start off. So now we've got also in the kit, we've got the roller and spacer. So when you're starting out, you know, you can use the, um, the spacers. Yeah. Um, this is in a different kit that we have not yet seen, isn't it? Uh, it's the creative kit, actually, yeah. uh, here. Coming up on the screen right now, where you get your snake roller, the brass texture plate, uh, your spacers and roller, uh, and also the PMC mat. Very useful. 181661 uh, is your item number to order that. 2499. I promise at some stage I'll ask Helen what you need just to get started. We'll ask what the best kits to get, etc. Uh, so is. here you go. So I see, just see a little bit of oh, texture. You wouldn't recognise it for that. So it's just... Yeah. very pretty and yeah you're just adding a little bit of dimension yeah, just a little just bit of interest to it rather than making a smooth ring mm. 
and here we go so now there's two ways with the flex actually the flex is just so easy to use you can put it straight onto the mandrel if you're using a clay that's a bit drier I'm just going to cut the end off here you can actually use a little bit of paste so the, the older way depending on sort of when you started with the clay you can actually put a little blob on and, and just stick it down that's like your glue, isn't it, that you've got yeah, there? Yeah, 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 but with the flex. So you're pushing it down. And the nice thing about this mandrel, I keep saying this is just the one mandrel to use, is that you turn the mandrel around and the clay will automatically really meet good. itself. If you're working with a loose stick, you mm. just don't get that. So, so you've got the again. stand, you just spin it around, it's so yeah. easy. Yeah, you know, and also, if you're working on the stand, you can look up. So you can see. Mm. So well, I don't you can get your. You need to do this for the camera. So so you can see yeah. this for the camera. So when you look up the mandrel, that the thickness of the ring is the same by all the way round. Yeah, so we can see there from that shot, yeah. you've got your, your, your the yeah. depth on your silver. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. yeah. So then you can see. So you want the the depth of your silver to be uh, two millimeters plus the depth of your texture. And of course, there's no texture on the inside of it, and that's a nice way of. And the two millimeter this. thickness, am I right in saying that that is is for the firing process? So yes, it's, it's for the firing, yeah. and also that you you're going to have enough strength. You know, it is going to be a fine silver ring, so you need to be a little bit careful when you're wearing it. You know, don't go and do the gardening with it. You know, you know, just treat it like a precious metal. Yeah. Um, you know, so there you go. So the next thing to do is hold it in place, and with the flex, you can just use a little bit of water. So I'm just going to put a little bit of water onto the join. Here we go. The water is wetting the clay, bonding it. And yeah, and yeah, and you can it hold it in place a bit. And then we've got our lovely clay shapers that we've used before. Yeah, we've got a set of shapers uh, on I the show as well. Yeah, picking those up. And then what you can do is you can put the pattern back in. If you've taken the pattern out, you can just put the pattern back in again and just go round the side again. So I always work between the paintbrush and the clay shaper, then you can get it all on. Let me just go round it again. So if for any reason, let me go get it on straight. You've, if there's some cracks here. At this point, you can just wipe them out. So if you've been working a little bit longer, there we go. Surface, yeah. Yes, I'm just keeping it on. And you know, at this point, you're just building that ring. You're getting the general shape, and then what you're going to do is you're going to dry it. So you leave it on the mandrel to dry. Okay, well, just while you're putting the finishing touches yep. to that one there, Helen, um, it's a good time, about halfway through the show at the moment, so just to remind you what we're using here with Helen, uh, if you're brand new to this, you might want the essentials set. So we did say we double check with Helen on, on exactly what you need. Well, this would be one of the things you'd be getting hold of today. Uh, this is your essentials kit. You get your badger balm, you've got your mat to measure things out, the Teflon sheet for your heat resistance, your shaper uh, and your brush as well. So one of those tools is your shaper, one's the brush, uh, and then you've got your sandpaper also uh, for finishing 16.95 plus delivery three pounds off at the moment to get that 698447 um, to order now then you've got the creative kit with the spacers so the starter kit is enough to get you going uh, but your creative kit with your snake roller uh, your uh, brass texture plate as well uh, and your spacers those are, are, are the correct height to get the width of your clay right uh, and then you've got your PMC mat there as well all in that bundle 181661 is your item number. You get that for 24.99. And also brand new today is our ring making kit. This is what we've been using, uh, where you've got your mandrel that's on a stand uh, and it spins around, of course. So easy to use that um, at making your rings. Uh, very, very, very easy to get good results from it. Uh, and then you've got your ring sizer here and then you've got the uh, little envelope to keep your ring sizer in and nice and safe. Uh, it sort of reminds you on how to use it as well with your instructions. And then uh, your slips as well. These go round your mandrel. They're non-stick uh, and those are your like a, like a mat for your ring to sit on when it's on there. Uh, and that's to make your rings. Three, four, seven, six, nine, eight to order now with a third of the stock gone always busy on the silver clay shows uh, with Helen and look at these if you uh, find these inspiring I'm not surprised um, so 
grab your real gemstones, grab your imitation gemstones, grab your crystals, grab your uh, any beads or anything that you want to include or anything uh, that you want to encapsulate and keep as a keepsake and, and make into a piece of real silver jewellery. And I just asked Helen by way of an example, the ultimate test, that's one of the heaviest rings here on the whole stand. Um, and uh, Helen reckons you can make that with a good, a good 10 grams worth of clay. Um, so if you take one of the smaller rings for example um, and compare it you start to realize how many you could make um, with one pack uh, of, uh, of 10 grams or one pack of 15 grams worth uh, of clay for example um, it's a very very popular kit this um, go for it for making your rings there's nothing like making a piece of homemade silver jewelry and you can do it uh, and to be able to make a ring as well uh, is, is quite a key piece of jewelry to have the know-how uh, and the kit to be able to make um, as opposed to pendants and charms and earrings and things a ring is a ring um, and then you've got your fairy mold um, already so busy for this i had a feeling we would be nearly 80 percent of the stock is gone and with helen we've never seen a mold come back so uh you know with mold designs they come in with helen and they usually sell out with helen she doesn't usually bring mold designs back to us a second time uh, we always like to keep it for helen likes to keep it fresh uh with a capital f r e s h o uh so uh keeping it fresh with helen uh six one eight zero nine four uh to order your fairy mold and then there's the vegetable mold it's so ever so cute this you actually get the two different sides to it i spy a lettuce in there and uh, i spy uh, nanas as well uh, down here too uh, I had a nice nana this morning before I left the house uh, and then is there a carrot in there maybe yeah yeah it's got a carrot uh, 705 because we're looking at the 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 positive and negative is it it's easier to see it once it's molded isn't it it's an example 705 281 to order your vegetable mold and then the clay shapers that Helen was using they're down here and actually uh, we've got a picture of them which shows you them in even more detail I guess five clay shapers uh, for 12.99 uh, and uh, it's 139340 to find those um, and the ends of those shapers there Helen that we're looking at it's yeah. the tapered and the pointed they all do something different don't they but we'll go into detail later I guess but yes just, they're all handy to be honest mm. um, you know depends what you're doing you tend to use a tapered one I just pick up one I think they're all handy to be honest yeah. I know the little bezel cup you think oh but you know just use the other side of it they're just yeah. you, you know it's like the great thing is you get five in a set if, you, if there's one you'd always be looking for it with <laughs> yeah, five yeah, doesn't yeah. really matter you got five <laughs> to hand multi tools yeah <laughs> exactly yeah. okay exactly. Helen well, right. we when we left you just putting some finishing touches so I thought it was a good good uh, good time <laughs> um, to, to disappear off Oh, hang on a minute. We wanted to mention our gems as well, oh, didn't we? Yes. I do apologise. Lots of people going for them. Your fireproof gems, uh, 224 four nine six uh you can get fireproof doors you can get fireproof roofs now you can get fireproof gems yeah. we love them uh but of course they need to be because uh of course you are working at a high temperature you can torch the fire them well. and what's nice in the gem set is that they're also you know people think oh i want lots of big gems but no you want the small gems because if you get just that small two millimeter gem just in the middle of this you can just pop that into your ring and you, uh, because of the depth of the clay you can literally just push the little tiny gems into the clay um, it's like the one we had earlier. Yeah, that's a, that's a slightly larger one. Is that here? Uh, where did we did? We had one earlier with Leone. Um, okay, just as so, a good example. Yeah, that's an example. That that one is in a setting. But when you have the little two millimeter gems, you can literally press them into the wet clay and yeah. fire them in situ and you've got enough depth because when you're setting a stone you want the top of the stone to be level with the clay so during the firing it doesn't pop out mm. and of course a two mil or a three mil is, is perfect for these and rings. We're showing another one now on that uh, on that pendant just there. Yes yeah that's it that's pushed push straight example. into the clay uh, and then you can fire those again yeah so um mm. we better gosh we've got, we've got so much to do so I still, I still want to get oh, through gosh, to those yeah, molds. Go for it. Yeah, you, so, you so here's the ring so here's the one I made earlier so this is a slightly different shaped ring that I was working on um, and um, sometimes if you put a top onto it you can put the join at the front but it's just to show you that this one is dry when it comes off the mandrel what you do is you make this into a V shape and then you can literally just take it out so you can see here that it has a lovely smooth finish on the inside because of the ring strip and then the only thing that I need to clean up here is the join. Okay, this is a bit of a, a messy join. 
it was, be neater on the other one. And then you just fill that in with your old paste. So the paste is any scraps that you've got left over or you've made a piece and you're no longer in love with it, but before you fire it, you can just put it into a little pot uh, and this is just water added to it this morning. Now, I might have just missed this, Helen, because um, uh, I was thinking about a mould that's just technically sold out as well. But how long would you have left that to dry then before yes. from that stage to the one that you're on now? Uh, I would leave that on for an afternoon, especially if you've got the radiator afternoon. on, if, a couple of hours on the radiator or you know, leave it overnight. You'll find it, the flex stays flexible and it's a bit funny when you're working with the ring because this one is quite hard now so let when you're starting out with the rings let it dry perhaps a little bit longer okay. so so because the thing is once you get to this point and you start sanding it once you start sanding it you tend to put pressure onto it and that's when you break your ring okay and you don't want to break the ring so so let it dry longer take the patience the first couple of rings you make after that it's easy okay. you know not to have the tension leave, in your to hand to be safe leave it overnight then yeah definitely. leave it overnight definitely. because you don't want to break the ring because it's a bit yeah. fiddly to put no, it gosh, back no. together again and the fairy mold technically sold out so i hope you've got yours technically means all stock is allocated which also means if it's uh -oh. in your basket check it out as soon as you so i'll just move move that other way yeah. uh ch check it out as soon as you there you go shall we so, make the fairy mold then? sorry just <laughs> there you go uh check it out as soon as you can bush in the way <laughs> right um so there's so always something happening mm. at hachanda there is isn't there yeah that, yeah. One, that was my, yeah so yeah. so right okay so here we go take the clay back in so i always as you can see use the palms of my hands for the clay i take anything any rings off um so that i don't nick the clay i use the palms of my hands because it's the least dry of the clay and it means i don't dry the clay out so i can use it lots and lots of time a and this clay gosh uh, it's been open for months i wouldn't recommend it perhaps at home but yeah. um i'll just show the little mold so, and this is a brand new mold so i'll use a little tiny bit of badger balm in it uh, as i don't really want it to get stuck in live tv <laughs> <laughs> and then what I, yeah just in case that would be but at home I don't use badger balm I just press it straight into the mold now here with the fairy you can make the fairy on its own but I've made a little bit extra clay to go over the edge here because you can see then you'll get a background so I'm just using it to press it around push it around and now we're going to see if it's worked Oh, and they're cute. I can see it's cute. Oh, so now, detailed. Isn't that just terrific? Look the at that. 3D mould on that. Amazing. So I'm going to just put it onto a different background. So you can use, okay, the bottom legs. I would probably um, push it in again. That's so, awesome. But it is just the Absolutely detail awesome. on the face here. Just turn it around. We've got a shot overhead actually, Helen. Have you so got if a we shot do over? this. Fantastic. Yeah, that should work. Yeah, look at that. Her facial her face features. Face. You can see her smiling away. She looks so happy. It's really see good. And if you've got a little nick like that, you can just wipe it out. And then here, you see, you can just use that. And then so I so here I've got a little bit of extra flesh but it means that you can just cut away any of the excess that you don't need. So, so leave then, the clay oh, as a nice base if you want, yes, but, but take so. it away to use on another piece. Yeah, and then of course, as what you want to do is you want to remove any excess clay that you don't really need, you know. I, you know, use every scrap of clay. If you just tuned in, this is clay, but it's a binder with water and the, the magic ingredient, of course, is silver. Silver is in there. The majority component is silver. Uh, and when you burn away the water in the binder, you're left with just pretty much pure silver. Yeah, so that's really cute. And again, if you've got a piece like this, now we've talked about the, um, the hallmarking punch. So anything over seven, less than 7.78 .7 grams is exempt from hallmarking. Mm. Now, by the time this is fired, it'll be close to it. But there's nothing to stop you using the little punch that we've got here. Yeah, well you've and got And just yours. find a little space and just press it in. You see? Mm -hmm. And then you've got that as part of your design. So obviously it can be anywhere, but yeah, for and the it says 999. So what you've done yeah. is imprinted there. Which way up have you gone there? Yeah, it's gone down that way. Uh, well, I tell you what, if I put it there, we might be able to just about catch see just it. by here. And it will see it. There you go. We can we can get in there. We yep, can. there you go. You see, 
So it just shows you can just there press that go. into into nine the wet nine clay. Nine 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 hallmark for ninety nine point nine percent pure silver. Yeah. So shall we do the um? Okay, scrunch up. Yeah, it's really. It's always a nice surprise how good these moulds mm, are, isn't it? Yeah, very detailed. I can yeah. believe the, the yeah. look on that fairy's face, though. Her yeah. cheeks and, and her nose and guess. her eyes. No. Yeah. Right, let's go and have another go at the, the vegetable ones. Yeah, I'd like go. to yeah, see this, just, actually, because... They're like magic. Aren't they? It's one thing to try and see them when you're looking into a mould, but mm. you need to see it moulded before yeah. you can see it properly. And it also depends... On and the finest because don't forget the clay is very very fine so it just picks up that detail beautifully so um, as you can see I'm underfilling the mold here mm -hmm. so again if you want to save yourself a bit of clay underfill the mold and yeah. then here's the reveal oh they just look at that now this is the magical moment where we see what we've got oh okay. it's corn on the cob isn't it yeah it is corn <laughs> on the cob I would never have known so um, you've got some sort of root vegetables down here, so maybe, maybe onions, I don't know. Uh, but it doesn't matter. You colour but them, how you, 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 you know, if you want to. But you've got your silver, you've got your beautiful silver, and you can sort of get the colouring by, by adding your oxidised finish, can't you? Yes, and it will shrink 10%, detail. so it actually will be a really nice size. Okay. It's not going to look lettuce. really obvious. Corn on the cob and lettuce. It's like a sort of secret design. Okay, I need Love a little it. bit more clay for this one, but you get the idea. And this one, here we go. Little Let's bananas. put that next to the other one and see oh. what we've ended up with. <laughs> uh, yeah, we spotted the bananas, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, the bananas. I think they must be grapes. Grapes there, yeah, apples, yeah. And, yeah I'd like go. to say peppers, but they could be anything. And you, you know, yeah. just suggest, it's just the suggestion, isn't it? Yeah, it's just something yeah. a little bit different, isn't it? We see <laughs> you lots of gemstones, you lots of hearts and yeah. geometrics, and this is just something totally off the wall, isn't yeah, it, really? Yeah, it is. <laughs> the vegetable moulds, love them. Uh, 11 99 plus delivery. If you do have a case of vegetable moulds at home, of course, throw the vegetables away quick. Uh, <laughs> but if you want to get our moulds to make vegetables uh, <laughs> today, 7 0 Five two eight one to order now. Yeah, shall I do the other one again? Very busy for the ring kit as well. Brand new to Ho Chanda today uh, with PMC. Uh, we're working to make rings, and it's lovely, isn't it, to make a charm, to make a bracelet charm, to make a phone charm, or a pair of earrings or a pendant. But there's something about a ring to be able to to, to have Rings it personally are totally different. Yeah, totally addictive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be able to make ring, I'll grab one of the stands here uh, to show. This is okay. our ring making kit that has gone into making this uh, with the mandrel that you're getting hold of. Uh, yeah, once today. you've got the mandrel, you know, as you can see, I'm looking at mine compared to the nice new one on the stand there, and mine's looking a bit ropey, really. Um, and also, what's really good, as a little secret, is in the PMC pack is the instructions, and it's made out of beautifully fine paper. So if you're making a man's ring, and you need to go bigger than the top end of the mandrel, you yeah. can just stick that paper onto the mandrel and pad out your mandrel, so you can make really any size ring. Oh, even bigger than that, Even I guess. bigger than that, you know. That's good. So actually, we have found. I've dropped one of the rings. That's fine. I've Don't dropped worry. all three of them. Don't worry, they're metal. Um, I've, dropped, <laughs> I've dropped one, uh, but the other two are on the desk, luckily. Um, but yeah, we've got like foam tape and stuff on, in in our craft rooms at home. We've got things like foam foam rolls because that may make it even. Sort of wider still. Yeah, we don't want to be, but you want it to be quite solid that you can work oh, yeah, onto it. Yeah, so, yeah. so the paper actually comes with it, and it's beautifully fine paper as well. So, right, okay. So, what shall we do next? Yeah, what shall um, we do? Um, should we do another firing? Actually, Helen, is that we okay? We can do a bit so, more firing. Yes, yeah, no is that cool? Because we started with it, didn't we? It's like a, you know, Remind this is what you can be doing. The, the torch. Now we've talked mm. about the torch earlier. So the torch basically comes with a base and a top, but the hole, there's always a hole in the base anyway, mm. so you don't need to take it off. Now, when you get your gas, you know, you get the lid with it, with all the different attachments on it. Here we go, mm. like these ones. Um, so you don't have to worry about those. You literally just press just it, it down. Pure, use it, yeah. Press it down. Oh, and I filled it up just before the show. Oh, so it's <laughs> so, full. So that, it is that full. That is what you And do. when it's full, it will just bubble over. But you'll feel that the, the base of the yeah. torch will get cool, and that's how you know that it's filling up. Yeah, yeah. So it's a very simple thing. I know 
when you don't smoke, you don't really know about sort of cigarette lighter fuel, yeah, do you? So yeah, it's like, you oh, you yeah. think, oh gosh, where do I buy it? So it's any easy, sort of easy. cigarette counter or do you Yeah, know, yeah. Um, it's the pound shop usually is a good one. Um, in supermarkets will do it. Yeah. Um, corner shops, main shops, DIY stores uh, will, will do it as well. Um, but it's just, you're not going to want it sent through the post because you can't send it through the post. That's why you're not getting it included today. Uh, you're just getting your empty butane torch uh, and then the, uh, the the firing brick yeah. as well. The firing oh, block. I know what we're going to cover today. It was my surprise one. Was oh. the plant, the bush that we've oh, been it's fighting been here all with the time. all this yeah. time? Yeah. So here are the samples that I've made at the top. So these are this is a lemon geranium, mm. and uh, originally um, I'm, I hold it? yeah, you can hold. Hold. originally can I'm from see. Holland, and we have these in our bedroom during the summer because, yeah. as you can smell, they've got a, a lemon scent, yeah. and it stops the mosquitoes. So I have is that a, right? I yeah. get bitten so badly. Oh, so I always keep one of these plants in my bedroom. Yeah. And I brought mine over from Holland, and and I propagated. They're very easy to propagate. You just snap a little bit off put it into a cup of water with a bit of kitchen roll and yeah. you propagate them. But after after about five years, mine sort of got smaller and smaller, and so it's died. But I found these in a, a garden centre this week yeah. in, um, in Burford. Fine. And they do, this is a variegated one. There's a plain lemon one, and there's now a cocoa one as well. But yeah. I didn't quite go much. So, so as you can see, they're great plants. Amazing. And then all you do is as we've talked about the, the, the leftover clay that you have, well, obviously, is that you take a leaf, and I'll, I'll leave this one on the plant because I'm not going to, and um, all you do is that you just paste the back of the leaf. So obviously if you're going to torch fire, you need a small leaf. I turn that around when yeah. I see it, yeah. So you put it on, it will have a little bit of oil in it because obviously lemon geranium, but you just put a few coats on, leave it to dry, put another coat on, and then what happens is when you fire it, and the reason that we don't fire a big leaf is because obviously you're going to get a bit of a bonfire because you've got yes, the leaf burning leaf off. Would burn away. So, but if you've got a friend with a kiln or use a kiln firing service, you can use that as well. And then basically what happens is that the leaf burns away and the back becomes the front. Right. So that's what's happened on those. So I fired those several times. So I literally painted the back of the leaf. Mm. That came, and this was really ropey old paste. That's why I, I took such a big piece. And um, mm. then that burnt away. And then I put the little frog on and fired again. So it did have. I mean, that that was that's the the paste was put on the leaf there. Yeah, on the back. So you're painting yeah. it on. Yeah, that was on the back. And then that became and the front. And then that then becomes the, the front. front. The leaf burns away and then yeah. leaves that Then I put the frog on the and then I put the bale on. So you can just keep going and going with mm. these things. Uh, on the other one, I think there's a little dragonfly and a gemstone. And you can just keep adding, yeah, you know. Yes, yeah, um, and, and oh, yeah, oh, that's the one here. So here on this one, this little flower here, you know the bull stylus tools that we looked at? Um, yeah. These ones here for it's inscribing. Very on, yeah. So what I did here, for instance, sometimes I just put a little ball on and you can see I can make a little dimple there yeah. and then with the um, liver of sulfur gel which I've used here to antique it you just get a little bit of interest to it. Mm, the liver of sulfur gives yeah. it an oxidized finish and yes. brings out the, the the aged you know that and brings out more of the detail on the silver doesn't yeah. it? Yeah so and if yeah. you don't like it again heat up yeah. your torch burn it off yeah. and it goes back to that natural state. Oh, I'm glad you remembered to but show plant, that off. Yes. And I'm, glad, <laughs> and I'm so glad cause it's been here the whole time, hasn't yeah, it? I, know. Thinking, I wonder why. I mean, I knew why, because, you know, you, you talk about the impression of, you know... But it's a great plant, and uh, you yeah. can just put it in your greenhouse, um, you know, if in the winter, or, it, or put it in a conservatory. It is a, a tropical plant, and mm. it, it smells great, yeah. All right, well, look, I'll let you get ready for a firing, if that's yes. all right, Helen. I hope that's OK <laughs> time-wise. Yeah, we've got just under 10 minutes, so hopefully. Just, I know, the um, show just goes by, doesn't I know, it? We'll talk about it. Uh, here's the ring sizing. Oh, I say ring sizing kit. You've got your ring sizer, you've got your ring mandrel, and you've got your ring strips um, for making your rings. Um, if you're making silver rings today, 19.99 plus delivery to get your ring making kit. And that's a lovely mandrel, perfectly shaped to get all different sizes of rings for you. Um, the actual clay itself, uh, this is where it all starts, of course. It's 16.7 grams in total because you've got your binder and your water in there. Once that's burned away, you'll get 15 grams of pretty much precious 
uh, pure silver. It's 807 823, uh, your item number. It's 3199 for your clay uh, just there. Um, and then uh, you've got the firing torch with the uh, heat resistant firing block as well. 1749 it is for the pair. Uh, it won't be filled with butane when it's sent to you, obviously, uh, but we'll be. you can fill that with butane when you buy butane yourself. Uh, just on the local local store, it should be available. 137208. But nicely, there's a freedom price on that too, making it 1574. Oh, Helen, I'm so pleased there was time to see this again um what are we seeing right now we're dropping the lights so we might okay see so we can see here here's a piece that i fired previously so and we polished off so actually this was from if, if anybody can remember this from an earlier show this was from the little mold the little button molds that we did uh where we used actually that i've still got it here we used the that yeah. was one packet of 5.6 grams of clay and we made the three charms out of that so what, that was one of the other three. shows okay yeah so here is one that was left over now it just shows let me go back i can see maybe the lights can turn down a little bit down okay we can uh, try can down a bit further you know. i can see it's going orange but i can't see it on the monitor yeah the first yeah. one yep yeah. so you can see now you're going for that sort of pale orange glow yeah, so when see. you're firing something new the first thing that happens is the water so you want your piece to be absolutely dry that's the most important thing so leave it to dry for a couple of days leave it to dry for a week if you need to that ring i used earlier gosh it's probably been on the mandrel for about six months mm. so and then the binder burns off you'll get a little bit of um, smoke which is basically the binder burning off then you'll see it curl a little bit that's where it shrinks and then when it goes to the pale orange glow you hold it for a minimum of two minutes now all the firing times are a minimum of two minutes and mm. um, if you need to start again start again yeah and then it goes white so you can see this piece has gone back to its natural state and again, when we said about the, the liver of sulfur gel, if you've put it on, you don't like it, it's, this is exactly what you do. You burn it off, start again. Yeah. So no mistakes necessarily. No. You can you can just um, keep going until you're happy with your piece when you're working with silver clay. It's very, uh, very forgiving indeed. Um, and the uh, little charm bracelet that you were talking about, Helen, we'll get a chance to look at that. We can look at it now, actually. Yeah. Um, so this was from, including the piece that you've got there, from one... No, without the piece. So this With, was yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so you can make pieces. these three. Yeah. From a five. Five gram. Wow. Five point six gram. grams of sil of clay. Yeah. So it's five grams of silver there. So yeah. it just showed that you know. Um, it, a little goes a long way. Yeah, you know? like each one can have a little uh, initial on the back or a texture on the oh. front or made from a mould, uh, but each one can be very, very special. You can make a, a, a designer bracelet, one, but one that's very, very personal to you at the same time yeah. with one five gram bag of clay. Very, yeah, it's very great. Good and value. that's just simple. If you're not great at beading, this is just on a little piece of stretch elastic. Mm. Uh, and this was the uh, electroplated uh, rock crystal we had at the time. Yeah. So, you know, just get some nice beads, a couple of jump rings and some stretch stretch elastic uh, and again here, here's another one I did easy to make something like this yeah I, I, again, can, I can do that again easy. it's all stretch elastic this is just um, amethyst but you know and, and the thing to do is just you just roll them on oh, yeah can, again they're my size funnily enough yeah funnily yeah, enough yeah, everything's yeah, yeah. made for you um, but that's a wonderful little, a little, yeah, little, little extra bead. bead that you've made there yes. from the silver um, yeah. and that might have a particular motif to it that you re remember it might be a little imprint from a yeah. tree in your garden or something yeah a little bit of bark yeah or even just from a leaf you know mm. um, and another one that's really good also with the paste is a, a sage uh, so again this time of the year lots of fresh herbs are mm. in and the great thing about sage leaves is that they're nice and small they come in pairs so they make perfect earrings oh that's lovely yeah. so paint it onto two leaves burn away the leaf and away you'd be and that's a really your... simple thing that you can torch yeah. fire at home yeah. uses a minimal amount of clay yeah. but a great effect and of course a leaf isn't going to get lots of uh, you know wear and tear on it so that's really yeah, good yeah of yeah. course oh Helen, it's been an absolute pleasure seeing everything it's been brilliant i mean we really hope that we've inspired somebody new as well yeah, if not I lots of new people uh, to take up working with silver clay making to sell potentially you know it's always easier said than done but you never know uh but making for friends and family you can be making very special gifts uh, with silver clay it could be a brand new hobby that you pick up and start today but i should also speak to the very regular viewers that also always tune in for you helen have a 
look at the web, um, you'll see all of the new todays, including the ring making kit um, and also the moulds. However, the uh, fairy mould has sold out. Uh, so if we were going for that fairy mould, hopefully it was in your basket. Hopefully you've, you've checked it out. Um, and then we've got our uh, hallmarking punch as well as your uh, liver of sulphur, the antiquing gel, yes. Uh, and then you've got the uh, different starter kits on there as well. And your firing block and your actual clay uh, itself. I suppose, Helen, even though we, we could finish by talking about anything because we've got so many goodies to talk about, I guess we've got to the, the new today, the ring making. The kit. ring kit. Mm. I know. I love making rings. They're probably my favourite things uh, to make, and, uh, and and everyone is different, you know. Uh, so that that's really really nice. Yeah, yeah, I mean, working with the different sizes is so easy. You, you've made it so easy with the kit for us, Helen, because you've got the ring size are there to work out what you're doing. Yeah, it's just having the right basics, isn't it? Once you've got the right tools for the job, it's not difficult, and it's just a little bit of patience and a little bit of practice. Yeah. And having the mandrel, I wanted to show how it spins there as well. So you've got that on there, and it easily spins around, so you can work with your design. Yeah, it can. It even comes off. It. it literally pushes on and off, and yeah. and you, you just need to buy one and just think of how many rings you can make. As yeah. soon as that's dry. You can slip it off, make another ring. Yeah, or a yeah. few different sizes at the same time. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. One size four, one size seven, and a size ten. Uh, so three, four, seven, six, nine, eight to get your ring making kit. I love the versatility as well because. Uh, some of the different moulds that you've brought us uh, here, Helen, mm. are beautifully sized, so you can then put your moulded charm or motif on yes. on a ring. Yeah, or mould a little button on it, or you know, little balls, or there. You can just cut out a so different okay. shape, you know. Um, yes, yeah. Oh, an imprint of a leaf on that one. Uh, yeah, that was an imprint, just yeah. a rolled in a leaf. So we still have, I think, on the website, the little uh, triangle cutters, for instance. That mm. would be quite cool if you're looking for a geometric design. Yeah, definitely. And mm. also the um, fire-resistant gems, too. So the three, yeah. are they three mil gems? Those three, there's a three, selection yeah. in there. Yeah. So you can either make a base for it and put it in. Uh, but I would start off with just some really small ones because the thing with gemstones is, I, you know, you start off and you think, oh, I want to put all these bright colours in there. And ones actually the most neutral rings are the ones you wear the most. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. I mean, that's a lovely deep blue there, but one yeah. that I know that, uh, I, you know, would get a lot of wear is a very, very glamorous one uh, here. And then there's another one. Yes, and I'm one. wearing the earrings to that one. Oh, the earrings to match that, that yes. lovely big floral one. Yes, yes. And these oh, have got, um, they've got little earrings. diamonds in them. Shall yeah. I take them off? Yeah, oh, I remember these now. Yeah, yes, these diamond they're earrings. They're little wearing mini them. ones that I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Look, yeah. Con these are so special. Yeah, if I hold it next to the ring, actually, you'll see how it matches. Uh, but you've got, yeah, these are like little You can never have diamonds. enough jewellery, can you? You can't. You, 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 you seriously can't. Something to match each occasion. I mean, imagine to be able to give a present to somebody. What are you going to buy somebody for their 40th wedding anniversary? What are you going to make somebody for their 40th wedding anniversary? Or 18th birthday, you know? To be able to make jewellery. Thank you for letting us look at that. Thank you, that's well. right. And of course, it takes up so little space, you know? Yeah. That's the nice thing about it. Everybody's got a jewellery box. Yeah, no, <laughs> no clutter. It's in the jewellery box. Open it, all spills out, but keep it in the jewellery box. Nice to say. Helen, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Really good. Thank um, you. Do watch out for Helen's shows. You can watch them back as well on, on Rewind on the website. We'll see you very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.